Well, it's time for us to start talk talking about purchasing property. Now, if you are thinking about buying your home, I'm sure you know that it's a very daunting and nerve-wracking process, but we want to keep you on track by uh, taking a look at everything that the entire process entails. Buying your first home can be a daunting process. Over the past weeks, we've been getting professional advice about what to consider and what steps to take when buying your first home. Today, we will summarize this series to make sure there is nothing you have missed. And joining us on the couch is a familiar face to the Espresso family, Brett Colopy. How's it going? It is going very well, thank you. Very well, indeed. Well, you know what? Over the last couple of weeks, we've been taking, we've been experiencing everything you need to know from making that offer to purchase to considering what to buy. In your opinion, what are some of the highlights of the series? Sorry, this has been such a cool series to be a part of um, because the timing was perfect. I was actually starting the process of looking for my first property in my personal life. I'm no expert and when I started this series I knew nothing about property. Um, I still only know a little bit um, but for me the highlights would definitely be preparation is very important. Um, doing the correct research, preparation, um, you can't go wrong. It's wonderful that you're going through this journey yourself, but now reflecting back, is there anything you would do different? You know, when I started this, I didn't know anything. Um, and one of those things was the hidden costs, so to speak, which I'm now aware of. Um, and those are things like your transfer duties, your rates and taxes, your levies, your lawyer's fees. And those things need to be paid with liquid cash, which I wasn't aware of. And that can be quite shocking if you don't know that. So the best thing is to be prepared, do your research, and you should be fine. So other than doing your research and you know being as prepared as you can, what other advice would you give to a first time home buyer? Choose your neighborhood before you choose your home. So find out about the neighborhood, what's in the neighborhood. Um, for example, schools if you have a family, uh, shopping centers, is there growth and development in the neighborhood? Um, also, what is the community like? That's very important. And does that neighborhood fit or tick the boxes of your lifestyle? Before I started this process, I wanted to make sure that my first property could hopefully eventually be a long-time investment uh, moving forward. And that in years to come, when I move on, I would still like to keep the property and rent it out as an investment. I think the main question now is, did you make that offer to purchase? I did. You did? I did. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm very <laughs> excited. And although it might be an overwhelming experience uh, for, for new first-time buyers, um, enjoy it because it's an exciting process as well. And don't get overwhelmed. Enjoy the process and have fun. Oh, fantastic. Well, Brett, thank you so much for joining us this morning to share your experiences. And if you've missed out on any of the episodes in this series, be sure to go to privateproperty.co.za. Whether it's your first apartment in the city, a trendy suburban townhouse, or that dream family home on a golf estate, there's a home for everyone on private property.